This is Pew Research, folks. Men, we go by statistics. We look at numbers. So I got numbers for you. This is numbers. I want you to think after I show you these numbers, is it worth it for you to take the online dating risk? Pay attention to what I'm about to say. This is Pew Research. They studied online dating and found that 3 in 10 U.S. adults have ever used a dating site. 3 in 10. So about 30%. It's a little bit more for men and a little bit less than for women. About 34% for men, 27% for women have ever used the online dating site. Right? And if we keep going, so you already, it's not 70%, it's not 80%, it's not 90% of women using online dating. Did you hear what I just said? About 27% of women. What are the chances that you're going to find even a woman, let alone, a, we haven't even got to quality women. You don't have high chances that you're going to find a woman that is going to want to be with you and you only. 27%. If you keep going, watch this. Most of the people that are using dating is are younger, younger adults, under 30. Right? Still not a significant amount of them, but they're under 30. Listen, look at this in particular. One in 10 partnered adults, meaning that they're married, living with a partner, or in a significant relationship, right? In a committed relationship, met their partner through online dating. One in 10. 10%. One in 10. 10% have met their significant other through online dating. What do those numbers tell you? What do those numbers tell you? Wait, it's going to get, look, it's going to get much better. It's going to get much better. When you keep going down, I mean, I want, I'm going to put this in the uh, description of the YouTube channel so you guys can actually look at this yourself. You can look at this data yourself, right? When you look at messages, right? Majority of women, over 60%. Majority of women have received unwelcoming messages. While at the same time, I'm sorry, over 50% of women, over 60% of men say that they feel insecure by their lack of messages. Over 50% of women are overwhelmed. And remember, it's still 20, only 27% have used online dating. Only 27% of women that are using online dating, 27% of all women using online dating, 54, just over half, say that they feel overwhelmed by the messages, while over 60% of men feel insecure. Something that's going to lead you to depression. Majority of men using online dating feel insecure. It's going to lead you to depression. Hope y'all are following me. Hope y'all following what I'm saying. We keep on going. Watch this. This is about to get real good, right? 44% said a major reason they used online dating was to find a long-term partner, while 40% said it was just for something casual. 40% using online dating just for something casual. That's almost half. Do you see when you start adding up all these numbers together, it's becoming less and less and less likely, especially that you as a man would ever find anybody through these online dating apps. This right here was created for weak men. This right here was created for weak men. I'm going to keep showing you more, right? I'm going to keep showing you more. This is the big one. This is the big one. And they put it at last. They should have put this as number one. Half of those who use dating sites and apps say they've come across someone who they think was trying to scam them, in particular men, over 60% of men 
said that they thought that they were trying to, that someone was trying to scam them, over 60%. Majority of men. Y'all hear me. Majority of men believe that they were trying to be scammed by someone from online dating. And that's a majority of what I'm getting into with this subject, with this topic, right? I've told y'all over and over and over, you cannot trust these W's today. Majority of them. Majority of them, a lot of them out here that you're coming in contact with and find them, they ain't no good. They ain't no good. Majority of them, you cannot trust. They're, they're no good. And these are the ones usually that you're coming across on these. It's easy, right? It's easy. These W's are on these online dating sites. They're portraying themselves as having these bad bodies. It is so easy for them to Photoshop pictures or put up false pictures of themselves. Do different angles and lightings and things and make you think that you're getting with a really good looking woman. Remove their past, their history from Instagram or Facebook or whatever. They can easily delete. They were just dealing with seven different dudes and they posted all of them. Now they can easily delete them. Or now what they're doing is they choose not to post. They see, they used to post a lot of the dudes that they were getting in relationship with. Now, a lot of the times they choose not to post any of these men. I want y'all to think about that. They are choosing not to post men. There's a reason for that. They don't want to post a lot of the men that they're dealing with. Why? So this way, because they know that a man is less likely going to deal with them, less, a man is going to be less likely to give them money, anything like this, if the man knows she's dealing with multiple, multiple different men. They know this. Yeah, the brother said they smartened up. Yes, they've got smart. This is what a scammer does, right? The scammer is not going to keep doing the same thing because they're going to adjust. They're going to say, just like a brother told me, I got a message two weeks ago from a brother. He said, when I think when the Brittany Renner thing first came out, when she started wearing hijab, saying that she's Muslim now, the brother said, this is a big scam that a lot of these W's are doing today. They are acting like, and they're being trained to present themselves as low body count women, women that are, you know, on a uh, saved or they made a whole bunch of changes to their life so that they can try to get men and get money from men. Right? Y'all following what I'm saying? A really good woman, right? That's not out here trying to scam you and do those types of things. She's only going to want and need maybe, first of all, she's probably going to be ashamed to ask you for money. But if she did need help, it's going to be for her basic necessities and it's not going to cost that much money. There's no way you should have a woman asking you to pay entire bills, rent, car notes. A lot of you brothers have fallen for the traps of being simps. You've fallen for the simp trap. Believing that if you you thinking you're doing the right thing, that you're going to pay for a woman, finance her, take her out and do all these things. But at the end of the day, you're not getting nothing out of it. And you definitely not getting no quality woman. Shout out to Brother Neil for the super chat over on the YouTube channel. He said, thank you for the stats. Much needed, honestly. Yes. And this is why sometimes me and y'all got to see, put the logic together. Do you see what I just gave you? First of all, majority of women are not even using online dating. I can tell you right now, when you go, when you travel the world into these other countries, you're going to see so many women just walking the streets. They're not out using the Internet, spending all their time on IG, spending all their time on uh, these dating apps and things. Most of these countries that I've traveled to, I see thousands and thousands and thousands of women every day. 
just walking around in the streets, going shopping, doing different things, beautiful women, women that are kind and generous and gentle to men. Well, this is going to require you as a man to stop being lazy. You can't sit around anymore and expect a woman just to come to you. I can tell you right now, one of the worst things you can do as a man is sit around and think that a woman just going to show up, a good woman going to show up, an honest woman, a decent woman just going to show up and be yours. And she's going to be gorgeous. And she's going to have it all. They never going to happen. More than likely, what's going to happen, you're going to get scammed. See, the smart men will listen to the sound of my voice and take my advice. The foolish dudes, you're going to keep dealing with these skeezers. These no good jokers out here. Shout out to the folks that are purchasing badges right now. Tell Billion, thank you so much for the badge purchase and supporting the Black Guru. Listen, folks. I want y'all to continue to remember that. What I said. If you wanted to request to come up, I'll pull you up here in just one second. I want you to uh, remember what I said. Weak men create hard times. Look at how difficult it is dealing with a lot of these joints out here today. These jokers. Shout out to Moon Eleven Child. Thank you so much, sister, for supporting the Black Guru and purchasing badges. Appreciate you in advance. Um, you're gonna have to be a man and do what's hard. See, men have always, right, to make a better life for themselves. They've always made big moves to get out their current situation. Men make moves, real men. We don't sit around and wait for things to come our way. We make moves and make things happen. You got to make moves as a man. There's no way that you can sit around and expect a decent, honest, loving, sweet woman is going to come to your doorstep. When I tell you all the time and I've shown you, you've seen so many of these things that most of these jokers are jokers indeed. You're not going to escape the hellhole that they're putting you in. You're not going to escape the child support system. You're not going to escape the drama, the extreme drama, the manipulation, getting put through all types of schemes. Somebody said, Guru, you're talking that real talk right now. Yes, and I'm going to tell you what. So many of the brothers don't want to hear this type of stuff. You're lost. Turn off that rap or whatever kind of music you listening to. Put that junk down. Put them substances down. Put that bottle down so that you can clear up your mind and your head and pay attention to what I'm saying in this live stream. Put all that junk down so that you can do the right thing. It's never going to be easy, but ain't nothing in life. You might have heard this old saying, right? You need to go back to a lot of what these old folks used to say. Nothing in life worth having came easy. Ain't nothing going to come easy to you as a man, especially. You're going to have to be a man. Forget mama. I almost wanted to say F mama. Mama's advice and the ones like her ain't made a lot of y'all nothing but lazy. I'm speaking as a man. Somebody talking about, yes, get these dusties. Well, I can tell you one thing. If you talking about they dusty, once they get their life together, they ain't coming and dealing with no joker like you, Sophia. They ain't coming at all to deal with nobody like you. I can tell you that right now. Because here, all you're going to do, you're the type of woman a lot. Let me tell you something. A lot of these jokers right now, the type of woman they are, this is all their, this is what they're worth. Let me play it again if you didn't hear. What did she say? That's all a, a lot of them are worth. 
And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.